everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Sandy and this is Coco's Hair Solutions. I hope you'll stick around and join me for an unboxing of Jacqueline Smith's Malibu Waves in the color Silver Starlet. That's 46 slash 56 slash 60 hashtag 4. Coming up next. Hi everyone. We're gonna do an unboxing of Jacqueline Smith's Malibu Waves. You can find Jacqueline Smith wigs at polyyoung.com. And if you purchase from Polly Young, either online or get a hold of their uh, phone number and order uh, by phone, you will be you'll be able to receive their catalogs regularly. Now, in their catalog, this is the picture of Jacqueline Smith's Malibu Waves. What I happen to have on today is called Leading Lady in the same color we're going to review, that silver starlet. Comes with a wonderfully done uh, dark root and a blend of silvers and uh, grays that is just uh, lovely, just lovely. Okay, so let's go ahead and unbox this young lady right here. Oh, she's, I um, purchased, purchased her with my own money. Okay, and she comes with a net and she's strapped in here. Okay, let's pull out some of these. Okay, I'm gonna take off the netting. And let's take a look at this cap construction. Alrighty, so the basic cap construction on the top um, allows for uh, a little bit of stretchy lace that helps support a little bit, or actually what I like to call the perfect amount of permatease on this. It's not too big, uh, too much, it's not too little, and this one even has it, so it's not not a whole lot. Jacqueline Smith is known for that right balance of permatease, but she does have this beautiful lace front right here. She has the normal open wefting on all sides, going around from side to the back to the side. She has these beautiful long velvet ear tabs and they have metal stays in them. And then of course on the back, we have an open extended nape with the Velcro closures so for adjusting. So that's, that's our uh, construction of the wig. So let's turn her right side out, give her a little shake, and let's take a look at that, at that hairline. Isn't that beautiful? That's done very nicely, very nicely. And then let's look at the, the scalp or the top of it. You cannot see the, the wefting or any part of the scalp in this wig at all. Um, she has a long bang and she's kind of an A-line. She's meant to have that little kind of a kick up in, in the back. And um, we'll just go ahead and take a look at her dimensions after I put her on, okay? But let's go ahead and do that right now. I'm gonna take off Leading Lady, set her aside, and we'll go ahead and put on Malibu Waves. She is a fun style. Of course, the cap construction fit for me is wonderful. I love it. Okay, she's a lace front long. And see, she's got that kind of an A-line wedge here. Let's see. Okay, so I have brought that hairline to allow me to have a little bit of my Widow's Peak show. Okay, and right now she's parted right in the middle. And I don't normally wear wigs parted in the middle. I'm just gonna finger comb her a little bit and we're just gonna play around with that. So I'm gonna scoot this. Since we have a, a top that is all the same, we could part it on either side or keep it in the middle. Let me see what this is gonna look like. So with the bangs off to the side, Looks like they're behaving pretty nice, actually. I'm just using my fingers. Let's see if we've got a little bit over here on the sides. Now, I'm gonna just finger comb her. She's got that really cute little 
sharp cut here, right here. Now, let me do a spin for you, all right? Let's do that, okay? Go around, this is straight out of the box. It's not customizing it in any way yet. And I probably would take some time. Let's see if I zhuzh it up a little bit. Does that make it any different? Kind of, I could actually put that behind my ear because my bio hair here is gray. Um, I probably, even though that was kind of swooping off to the, my right, I probably apply heat of my fingers right here. So on me, she's um, a shorter, shorter bob. And she's really cute. She's got this beautiful, this is more of a beachy wave than I would say the leading lady is. Leading lady has some cute curl. So let's look at her dimensions, alrighty? So, um, Malibu Waves weighs a total of 2.9 ounces. Her front here is eight and a half. So that's about right. It comes right to my jaw. My jaw is, is eight inches. I measure from my hairline to the bottom of my jaw. So the front is eight and a half. The top up here, which is the part that encompasses most of that permatease area, that is anywhere from five to nine inches. So they've got it layered here in the front. And that will be what you see on the sides. The longest point will be nine inches. The crown is nine inches. So whatever falls back here or off to the side from the crown, it's gonna be nine inches long. The sides and the upper back, those are all seven and a half inches. And the nape is three inches. So this is looks like one of those modern hairstyles that that you know you'd want to have curly or kind of beachy waves. If you had a bob and then you curled it, this is kind of what it would look like. Kind of cute actually. And of course, you can uh, train any of these sides to do what you'd like them to do, or even put some bangs in it. Very very cute. But the color. Let's look at the roots, or at least the the top of the wig so that you can see or see what you can't see, right? But it's really, really cute. It's a cute style. I think it's darling. And if I was in the summertime, that would be something I would probably wear. You know, kind of gives you that little sassiness. <laughs> and then I would try and control some of those hairs that are coming down and bugging me right on my nose. <laughs> Take care of those. Well, anyway, this is Jacqueline Smith's Malibu Waves. How do you like her? Did you learn something new today? I hope you did. Discovered another hairstyle by Jacqueline Smith. I've enjoyed having you join me today. If you like my presentation, give me a thumbs up and leave any comments down below. And we will see you next time. Bye-bye.